ഈശോയുടെ സ്വന്തപ്പെട്ടവരെ ലോകസഭയ്ക്ക് സാർവത്രിക സഭയ്ക്ക് സന്തോഷിക്കുവാൻ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ബ്രിട്ടൻ രൂപത ഇതാ കർത്താവിൻ്റെ നാമത്താൽ കൃപയാൽ രൂപം കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നു അതിനെ നയിക്കുവാനായി കൃപയാലും മഹത്വത്താലും മാർ ശ്രാമ്പിക്കൽ പിതാവിനെ ദൈവം നിയോഗിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നു കേരളത്തിൽ നിന്നുള്ള എല്ലാ വിശ്വാസികളുടെയും സ്നേഹവും പ്രാർത്ഥനയും നന്മയും വന്യ പിതാവിനെയും ഗ്രേറ്റ് ബ്രിട്ടൻ രൂപതയും മുടിച്ചുപിടിക്കട്ടെ അത് കാണുന്നത് നമുക്ക് സന്തോഷമാണ് നമ്മുടെ എല്ലാ പ്രാർത്ഥനകൾ നന്മകൾ വന്യ പിതാവിനും രൂപതയ്ക്കും നമുക്ക് കാഴ്ചവെക്കാം ആമേ അവിടുത്തെ തിരുമനസ്സിന് പ്രസാദിക്കുന്ന പാതയിൽ ചരിക്കുവാനെ സഹായിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യട്ടെ ശുശ്രൂഷിക്കായി ഗൗരവത്തിന്റെ പദവികൾ നൽകുകയും പുണ്യവാക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്ന കർത്താവേശിതരായ ദൈവമേ അനന്തമായ അങ്ങയുടെ പരിപാലനയെ അളിയവനായ എന്നെ പരിപാലിപ്പിച്ചിരിക്കുന്ന ദൗത്യം വിശ്വസ്തതയുടെ നിറവേറ്റുവാൻ എന്നെ സഹായിക്കണമേ അങ്ങയുടെ രൂപിയാൽ എന്നെ നിറയ്ക്കുകയും സ്നേഹന്മാരുടെ ദുഷ്ടതയോടുകൂടി അങ്ങയ്ക്ക് സാക്ഷ്യം വഹിക്കുവാൻ എന്നെ ശക്തനാക്കുകയും ചെയ്യണമേ എന്നെ പരിപാലിപ്പിച്ചിരിക്കുന്ന ഇരുപതിയിലെ വൈദികരുടെത്തോടൊപ്പം ദൈവജനത്തെ വിവേകത്തോടെ നയിക്കുവാൻ എന്നെ ശക്തനാക്കണമേ അവരും ഞാനും ഒരുമിച്ച് അങ്ങേക്ക് സ്ഥിതിയുടെയും പ്രാഗ്യതയുടെയും കീർത്തനങ്ങൾ ആലപിക്കുന്നതിനും സഖരാജിതത്വമായി അങ്ങയെ പാടിപ്പോയിട്ടിനിടയാകട്ടെ പിതാവുമുത്രനും പശുത്താത്മാവുമായ സർവേശ്വരായ നയിക്കും ശിവായുടെ <laughs> His grace, Most Reverend Martin Bhattik Martin, Archbishop and Mr. Louis of Liverpool. His grace, Mr. Joseph Kenwater, Archbishop of Kenwater, His grace, Mr. Martin Bhattik, Archbishop of Kenwater, His Excellency Raja Reverend Michael Kandil, R.H.A. Bishop of Hanabaster, His Excellency Mr. Joseph Kalevanar, Bishop of Kale, the Meiji Bishop of Bishop George and Stambikar, section c mar sebastian wadake chairman of the commission of evangelization and for my friends his excellency mar jacob amadie bishop of chicago his excellency mar tori kandakaran bishop of vinalakuna his wish for the matthews mar theologios bishop of ukre in the malangara orthodox church bishop gilad mar stephen chirapanat apostolic visited to europe I have a John Arnold Bishop of Salford Monsignor Eugene Hawk and Hawkness the official representative of Bishop Allen Hobbs Bishop of East Anglia and the chairman for the migrants in the UK Monsignor Steve Kelly Vicar General of North London and all the bishops gathered here Let's give a good clap to the new bishop and the guys
There is a saying in the language of Italy, the Italian language says a bishop who is made by the Lord by the rain. He is a blessed and graceful man for the entire world. Naniata, Talarata, Tagarata, Vishwasa Tinde, Afo Shamana, E. Vedil, Vaidiga Meditation Marudakong, Namina Kondadu. A living faith which is not disturbed by the rainfall. We thank the Lord for this wonderful day. It is a day that has been given by the Lord. Bishop Mark Joseph Stambikil. He is a gift of the Lord. Benny Matthew. He is a gift of Matthew who is the gift of God. We all are very grateful to the Lord Almighty for this great gift and to the Sambical family and to his parents. His mother, Elikuti, is with us. His brothers, all are here. So we thank Samigal family and also the eparchy of Palay for giving us this wonderful, graceful Bishop of Great Britain who has been just ordained and is with us, who is the center and direction of this day. Thank you for your patience and thank you for your powerful participation, power power. If you are happy with the, this day, could you please say three times, hallelujah. Now it is time to felicitate 
our newly consecrated Bishop, Mar Joseph Sandigal. present with us. 
We are proud of having you as us. And our sincere thanks and gratitude to you and to the Queen who is represented by your presence here. For this nation and this county council and the city, the right worshipful mayor, Councillor John Collins, is giving his felicitation. I would like to him to the microphone, please. Colonel Alan Jolly, Deputy Lieutenant of Lancashire, His Grace the Most Reverend Antonio Monini, Apostolic Nuncio to Great Britain, Your Beatitude, Mar George Cardinal Alan Cherry, Major Archbishop of the Syro Malabar Church, Your Lordship, Mar Joseph Sanfrico. Your Lordship, the Right Reverend Michael G. Campbell, OSA, Bishop of Lancaster. Your Graces, Your Excellencies, Honoured Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. As Mayor of Preston and its first citizen, I am extremely proud to represent this city at this historic event. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to a city that is proud to embrace all religions. Today has seen the Episcopal ordination and enthronement of Father Joseph Shrampical as the Bishop of Preston, which was conferred by Marjor and George Cardinal Alan Cherry, the major Archbishop of the Syro Malabar Church, assisted by His Excellency the Right Reverend Michael G. Campbell, OSA, Bishop of Lancaster, along with Mar Joseph Kalaranga, the Bishop of Palai. In the presence of His Grace, the Most Reverend Antonio Menini, the Apostolic Nuncio to Great Britain. This is a momentous day for the city of Preston and for the Syro Malabar Church. We have seen a much loved Catholic Church, St. Ignatius, consecrated as a cathedral on the instruction of the Pope, albeit with a new name of St. Alfonso Cathedral. So it is with great pleasure, pleasure and pride the city now welcomes its first bishop to the new diocese of, of, of Preston and ministered from the new cathedral here in the city of Preston. Thank you. and Lancashire County Council and yeah. and the entire nation is happy to have Ma Joseph Sambical so as a sign of our thanks, our gratitude for providing everything and anything 
for our bishop unto the seal of the God says in Great Britain and to all of us we are grateful to them now we would like to present a sign of our thanks and gratitude to the Queen who is represented by Colonel Jolly, the Vice Lieutenant and of Lancashire and Right Worshipful Mayor of Preston, Councillor John Collins. I would like to them come forward to, uh, to invite them to come forward and receive this sign of our gratitude from the Major Archbishop, Lord George Cardinal Alan Sherry.
2016, in the Jubilee Year of Mercy, the fourth year of our pontificate, signed Francis Arco. Franciscus Episcopus, Servus Servorum Dei, Dilecto Figlio, Iosefo Benni Matteo Srandical, E Clero e Parchie Palaiensis Siro Malabariensium, Actenus Rome Gerenti Vices Rectoris Collegi Urbani e Propaganda Fide, Electo Episcopo Nove Eparchie Magne Britannie Siro Malabarensio. Salutem et apostolica la benedizione. Cum preficiendum sit quidem sacrorum antistites Nove Eparchie Magne Britannie Siro Malabarensio, hoc ipso die a nobis in Magna Britannia Condite per apostolicam constitutionem in apostolorum principis, auditis quorum interes, ac presertim venerabili fratre nostro, sancte romane ecclesie cardinale prefecto congregationis pro ecclesiis orientalibus, tu, dilecte fili, claris dotibus ornatus, Renunque pastoralium ac teologie biblice peritus, videris idoneus illi recende. Sulma igitur apostolica potestate, te nominamus, Magne Britannie, Siro Malabarensium e Marchie Episcopus, Cunctis cum iuribus et officis, ad normal codicis canonum ecclesiarium orientalium e idem muneri annexis. Quod abinet ad ordinazionem tuam, atque professionem fidei, nec non ad promissionem obedienti erga nos et nostros successores, normas memorati codicis servabis. Mandam, mandamus in super, ut e littere, in notitiam veniant cleri populique tui, quos ordamur ut te leti accipiam, te cumque coniunti maneam. Pro te denique dilecte fili, auspice, auspice Virgine Maria, voce perenni apostolorum, Paracliti Spiritus dona poscimus, quibus adiutus fideles tibi creditos pascas adibita. Maxime caritate, precipua pastorum virtute. E adem opitulante, pax et ac lux Christi sint semper tecum, e cum ista ecclesiali comunitate nobis carissima. Datum Rome, apud Sancto Petrum, die decimo sexto mensi iubis, anno domini bis millesimo decimo sexto, iubileo misericordie, pontificatus nostri quarto, Franciscus. Francis, Bishop, Servant of the Servants of God, to our beloved son, Joseph Benny Matthew Slampickle, from the clergy of the Siromalabar Eparchy of Palais, currently serving as Vice Rector of the Pontifical Urban College of De Propaganda Fide, elected Bishop of the new Siromalabar Eparchy of Great Britain. Greetings and apostolic blessing. Since it is necessary that a prelate should preside over the new Siramalabar Eparchy of Great Britain, established by us on this same day, through the Apostolic Constitution in Apostolorum Principis, 
having heard those concerned, especially our venerable brother, his most reverend eminence, the Cardinal Prefect of the Congregation for Oriental Churches, you, beloved son, endowed with shining gifts and expert in the pastoral field and biblical theology, are seen to be apt for its governance. Therefore, with the supreme apostolic authority, we appoint you bishop of the Syramalagon Eparchy of Great Britain, together with all the rights and duties attached to the same office in accordance with the norms of the Code of Canon Law of the Oriental Churches. With regard to the ordination, your profession of faith and the promise of obedience towards us and our successors, you will follow the rules of the aforementioned code. We order also that these letters be brought to the notice of your clergy and people. We urge them to gladly accept you and remain united with you. Finally, beloved son, through the intercession of the Virgin Mary and with the perennial voice of the apostles, we ask for the gifts of the Holy Spirit of Paraclete, with which to help you nourish the faithful entrusted to your care, especially through charity, the chief virtue of pastors. As much we love, so much we nourish. May the peace and light of Christ be always with you and with that ecclesial community so dear to us. Given in Rome at St. Peter's on the 16th day of the month of July in the year of our Lord 2016, in the Jubilee year of mercy, the fourth year of our pontificate, signed Francis our Pope. Now I speaking to you, the appointed bishops, on the 16th of September this year, the Holy Father Pope Francis said, First of all, accompany your clergy with solicitous patience. Be close to your clergy. I beg you to take your priests, the Pope's embrace, and appreciation of their act of generosity. Try to revive in them the awareness that Christ is their destiny, their share and source of inheritance. Their part is to drink from the cup. Who can fill the heart of a servant of God and of his church other than Christ? Take special care to of all families, rejoicing with their generous love and encourage the, encouraging the immense good that they lavish on this world. <laughs> Above all, follow the most wounded. Do not pass by in the face of their frailties. Stop to let your heart of a pastor be pierced by the vision of their wounds. Approach them with delicacy and without fear. I beg you to thank you for the concern of the people. Dear my children, I will ask us to follow the Holy Pope Francis said that you strive to do everything you can to strengthen the fraternal communion, especially among and with your priests. Trust too in their prayers and in their love for you. Pray for your people, priests and religious. Dear people, religious and priests, please pray also for your bishop, as well as for your priests, as you start this new adventure for Christ in this land. Signed, Archbishop Antonio Menini, Apostolic Lucio. Thank you, Monsignor Brady, for the wonderful words of lesson. Now it is my privilege to invite His Excellency, the Right Reverend Michael G. Campbell Loyosi, Bishop of Lancaster. Dear friends, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the Catholic Diocese of Lancaster 
offers our warmest congratulations to the Sierra Malabar community as they celebrate with great joy the erection of their new e parque and the consecration of its first bishop, Mar Joseph Strang. We in Lancaster assure them of our prayers as they begin this new phase of their church life as an e-parque. I am absolutely delighted that our Holy Father Pope Francis established the new e-parque for the sale of our faithful in Great Britain on the 28th of July so as to provide the necessary church leadership, stability and strength for the Sierra Malabar Catholic Church to bear witness to Jesus Christ in these lands going forward. We stand by and pray for Mar Joseph and his clergy and people in the days, months and years ahead. I am aware that as the E-Park begins its infancy, it will require the continued support of the diocese and indeed all the Catholic dioceses of England, Wales and Scotland. And surely this will be forthcoming in so many ways. For us in Lancaster, we are so pleased to have assisted the new e Parque and to have provided it with its new beautiful cathedral church, St. Alfonso in Preston. A big thank you to everyone who has made this possible today. I pray God's richest blessings upon this endeavor. May the e-park of St. Alphonse in Preston flourish. God bless you all and thank you. Bishop R. Joseph Kalanagar, Bishop 
of Sebastian Bodeke, newly ordained Bishop R. Joseph Samikya, Mrs. George Collin, right worshipful mayor of Preston, and other bishops, Reverend Father, sisters, dear friends. I stand as a representative of Zero One Watch of Great Britain. And today is a special day for all of us because we are blessed with a new mission. It's a great a gift from God. All because of our community, I extend a warm welcome and wishing you all the best. We assure you wholeheartedly our cooperation in all your efforts to make our community more vibrant and dynamic in this new era. We are grateful that our Cardinal for giving us full support and we expect the same support in the future. Let us thank God for this wonderful day and let us also work as a team to make our Christian lives more powerful and meaningful. Once again, welcoming and wishing you our newly ordained Bishop, Mark Joseph Swamikar. Thank you, such a fall. In the Catholic positions, the very important saints are represented by their statues at the end of the procession. So it is great joy to have the message of Cardinal Santri, who is the prefect of the Oriental congregations. He is represented by Monsignor Kimmings. Your beatitude, George Cardinal and Cherry, your Lordship, Michael Campbell, Bishop Alex Sampical, my brother, bishops and priests, men and women religious, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, in the presence of the Head and Father of the Cyril Malabar Church, is beatitude, Cardinal George Allen Cherry, Bishop Alex Sampical, takes a great step and with him the whole Sierra Malabar Church. He receives a full share in the mission handed on by the Apostles so that he might lead a portion of God's people in communion with the major archiepiscopal synod of the Sierra Malabar Church and with the successor of Peter. At the same time, the Sierra Malabar Church initiates her first ever key in Europe, providing juridical structures for the 30,000 plus faithful currently living in England, Scotland, and Wales. Mr. Srampikal, the faithful and trusted to your care will need support in order to face the challenges that arise when making a new life in a foreign land. It is very far from home and different in many respects. They come seeking opportunity, certainly, but bringing with them a still more precious treasure. Just as St. Thomas once brought the light of the nations to India, so now they must shine that light in a region where the once splendid Christian heritage is rapidly fading. Your flock must be strengthened 
So that rather than suffering negatively from the secularism they encounter, they may instead suffuse their neighborhoods and workplaces with the good odor of Christ in our home. May they plant in Great Britain the seed of a vital Sir Malabar presence with strong families, numerous vocations, and missionary zeal. May it grow and bear fruit for the good of both fellow Christians and people of other faiths as well. I willingly join with you, Bishop Joseph, and with your large and widespread flock in thanking God for this great gift. May the Heavenly Father provide you with the wisdom and courage, charity, to overcome all obstacles and lead them securely to eternal life. <laughs> to his beatitude, Cardinal Adam Cherry, and to the bishops, priests, and consecrated persons and lay faithful participating in this solemn celebration, I express my brotherly and profound regards in a particular way. I extend my heartfelt thanks to his Excellency Monsignor Michael Campbell, Bishop Lancaster, who has already warmly welcomed and generously facilitated the creation of this eparchy. Thanks also to all the other local Latin bishops for all that they do for the several Eastern Catholic churches present on the British Isles and to the Eastern hierarchs for their brotherly presence and expressions of goodwill. Aware of the special love, of the Blessed Virgin Mary for her dowry, that is for England. We ask her confidently to intercede for the new bishop before her divine son. May our glorious Savior grant to your Excellency every blessing at the start of your new mission. With my best wishes, Leonardo Cardinal Sandri, Prefect. Thank you for the message of the sentence. Now it is time of our bishop. Bishop Lord Joseph Stratigal is addressing us. So could you please be seated? Thank you for your patience and silence. Before that, Apostolic Nuncio to India. Most Reverend Salvatore Pinacchio has given me a present to be given to our new bishop. So I have just given him, it is a pectoral cross. Charles Cardinal and the Marquis of Great Britain 
is the latest blessing from God to the Zionist Church. I express my profound gratitude towards his gratitude to Lord George Carr and Shady, Major Archbishop of Zionist Church, for his paternal love, guidance, and care. And I also express my filial affection and devotion to his gratitude for considering and installing me as the Bishop of the Party of Great Britain in today's ceremony. Together with his gratitude, I thank all the Bishops of the Zerubar Senate for their fraternal love. The presence of his case, most of the Antonio Benin, as the representative of his Holiness Pope Francis, is kept alive, amidst as by Monsignor Matteo de Mori, the first council of the negotiation, and by Monsignor Vincent Brady, and I express my sincere thanks for their valuable mediation. The relationship between the Roman Catholic Church and the British monarchy had been evolved through ages, and we are now standing at a juncture of wider friendship and mutual understanding. I am grateful for the esteemed presence of Her Majesty's representative, Colonel Alan Choli, Vice Captain of Langashay. It is my pleasure to remember with gratitude the Right Worshipful Mayor of Preston, Councillor John Collins, who had always lent his helping hand to the Civil War faithful, and this was even notably seen during the birth pangs of the new apartment. I extend my gratitude towards His Eminence Cardinal Vincent Nichols, President of Bishop's Conference of England and Wales, and His Grace Archbishop Philip Natalia, President of Bishop's Conference of Scotland, for their immeasurable help and generosity. And I assure them and all the bishops of Great Britain my sincere cooperation and commitment for building up the body of Christ in Great Britain. The party of Great Britain would have remained a dream without the help and support of His Excellency Right Rev. Michael G. Campbell, the Bishop of Lancaster. And it was His Excellency who had willingly offered out, out, offered out of his generosity the beautiful Cathedral of St. Alfonso for the Sermon of our Church. I thank you, Your Excellency, for your paternal care towards me and towards your community and now and for the future and also for being the co consecrator The Parkio Pali is known for its vocations and for its missionary charism, and I was fortunate to be born and bred in their ambience. I would like to remember with gratitude Mr. Joseph Alika Brambil, the second Bishop of Pali, who had received me as a candidate for priesthood and provided me all the opportunities for getting an outstanding formation, especially by sending me to the pontifical Urban Seminary in Rome and the University of Oxford. And it was by this imposition of hands I was ordained a priest in the Great Jubilee year 2000. Mr. Joseph Renard, the present bishop of the Eparchy of Pali, was gracious to be the co consecrator The last 12 years of my life was much influenced and fashioned by the question, the vision, and the decisions of Mr. Joseph Renard. Thank you, Your Excellency. Mr. <laughs> Sebastian Padakel had been tenuously working all these years in His Excellency's capacity of being the Chairman of the Civil Commission for Evangelization and Pastoral Care of Migrants. I am very much happy to thank His Excellency and His Commission on this day of the fruition of their work. I thank all the Archbishops, Bishops, Priests, men and women religious who have blessed me by their presence and prayers. I am really, I am really happy and strengthened by the presence of Monsignor Vincenzo Viva, Director, Monsignor Vincio Benicio, the Procurator, Reverend Father Alessandro Grandi, the Vice Director, and D.K. Tobias, the Student Representative of the Development Seminary, where I was a student from 1995 to 2000, and Vice Director from 2013, until my appointment as the Bishop, Gracie Kari Amici. I also thank the Reverend Father Mark Vitus, my classmate from Rome. This consecration certainly would not have been possible without the 15 committees and the parish council members 
Oh, my God.